Welcome to The Joy of Music, featuring Diane Bish. Today, bringing you a special presentation from Salzburg, Austria. Music from the Mirabel Palace. Now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the joy of music. Today the program is entitled Music from the Mirabelle. The Mirabelle Palace in Salzburg, Austria has been a special attraction to visitors across the years. Thousands have come not only to see the magnificent gardens but to also hear music from the ornate Marble Hall. We want you to join us today in the Marble Hall for Music from the Mirabelle. The Mirabel Palace was built in the early 1600s by the Archbishop of Salzburg, Wolf Dietrich. Over the years, many restorations and additions have been made not only to the palace, but to the magnificent gardens. It is now used as the office of the mayor and as a place for weddings and celebrations on a beautiful day in Salzburg.
The powerful tenor aria from Handel's Messiah, Thou Shalt Break Them, gives us a new and fresh look at God's Word. We are told that God is a God of love, but He is also a God of judgment. For those who turn their back on God, or who turn against God, the scriptures tell us, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them into pieces. from Salzburg is the tiny village of Hallstatt. Surrounded by towering Alps, it is situated on the edge of a lake and built directly into the mountainside. With its colorful buildings, cascading waterfall from the glacier above, and the tiny streets and walkways, it is one of the most unique settings in all the world.
standing on the edge of a lake in a tiny Austrian village surrounded by towering Alps, we are aware of the shadows cast on the water by the mountains. In these shadows, there is a coolness and a rest. Psalm 91 talks about resting in the shadow of the Almighty. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. Mozart was born in Salzburg in 1756. His incredible musical talent was evident at a very early age. It was Goethe who said that Mozart was the human incarnation of a divine force of creation. Although Mozart was not treated well by the people of Salzburg in his early years, as his fame grew, he came to a place of honor in Salzburg and has held that place ever since. Salzburg is now known as the city of Mozart. 
Many times Mozart would perform with his father Leopold and his sister Nanur in the marble hall of the Maribel Palace. And so we listen to the music of Mozart from the marble hall. Mozart was a great admirer of Johann Sebastian Bach, and the music of Bach had a profound influence on the life of Mozart and his composition. Johann Sebastian Bach was a committed Christian. His faith and his music were unified. We have found on many of Bach's composition the inscription by Bach himself, to the glory of God and Jesus help me.
praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. We thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music for a special presentation of music from the Mirabel Palace in Salzburg, Austria. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.